This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. In terms of college basketball powerhouses, it doesn't get any better than Kentucky and UCLA. UK with eight national titles all time, UCLA with 11, the two most decorated programs playing in Chicago today for the CBS Sports Classic inside the United Center. There you see John Calipari, and he watched his team do some nasty things today. First half, Trey Lyles knocking down the long jumper. The Cats start the game on a 7-0 run. Later, off the miss, Kentucky pushing the ball up the court. Aaron Harrison, I like this one right here. Three ball goes. That's string music for the Cats. Harrison finished with 15 points. Cats up 16 to nothing. Doesn't stop there. Another Bruin shoots. Another clank off the rim. And the Cats are pushing it up the court again. Oh, it's Devin Booker this time. The freshman knocking down the corner three. More transition for Kentucky later. Devin Booker to Tyler Eulis. Back out to Book. Let it rain. Devin Booker goes for a team high 19 points. Cats up 22 to nothing. Next possession, Dakari Johnson. Get that junk out of here, man. To Andrew Harrison, up to Book. He flushes it home. The Cats start the game on a 24 to nothing run. The first meeting in eight years turning really, really ugly. Cats up 26 to two. SWAT team was out as well. Carl Towns, get that junk out of here. UCLA shoots three of 37 in the first half later. Dakari Johnson, uh, he's going to hand it to, to Harrison as we took another look at the block of Carl Towns. Akari out to Aaron. Aaron finished with 15 points on 6 of 11 shooting. UCLA had only 7 points in the first half. That is the fewest points ever registered by UCLA in a half and the fewest by a Kentucky opponent since December 1943. Look at the scoreboard in this one. Kentucky rocks UCLA's world. 83-42 is the final. Now, uh, Kentucky, no Kentucky player, played more than 23 minutes in this one. So next up for the Cats is the Louisville Cardinals. Yes, the fourth ranked cards, both teams undefeated. Live coverage of the game on ESPN2 tip time set for 2 o'clock in the KFC Yum Center. Speaking of Louisville, Rick Pitino's Cardinals had a heck of a game today at EA Ditto Arena with the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. WKU has dropped eight straight against top 25 teams. The last win against a top 25 opponent, Louisville, 2008 in Nashville. Let's go first half. Montrez Harrell off the miss. He uh, jams at home. He'd be ejected from this game, throwing an elbow with about 30 seconds to go in the half. No word on what might happen later on in the week. Let's go second half. Louisville up five. Alex Rose Stove. Layup good. His only three points, because that was an and one bucket. Tops down two later. WKU pressing the cards on us. Mahmoud, the Egyptian. With the jam, the Ville back up 35-31. Take another look. Mahmoud, big drop step. And the flush. He finished with six points on, and five rebounds. All right, Western on the break now. Justin Johnson misses the slam. We're in the second half. Remember, Louisville will capitalize off the missed slam. Terry Rogier on the other end. Rogier goes for a game-high 32 points. He had 11 free throws. If out of those 32 points, Ville up eight. Not a good day for... Last year's Kentucky Mr. Basketball, Quentin Snyder, he misses the jumper there. And T.J. Price, coast to coast, a little hesitation. Western still down five after that. Price scored a team-high 25 points for Western. For the most part, though, Louisville just, they just crushed the press. Anything the Hilltoppers did, they just took it right to the hole. There you see the Egyptian once again dunking at home. Louisville gets the nine-point win, 76 67 that moves the cards to 4-0 on the year and it evens the series to 39 apiece between the two teams back out to the CBS Sports Classic before Kentucky number 24 in North Carolina coming off the loss to Kentucky uh, taking on number 12 Ohio State first half Carolina out rebounded the Buckeyes 53 39 the offensive board paying off their alley-oop jam for Bryce Johnson they had 19 offensive boards Carolina did still first half Ohio State down 10 this is Sam Thompson Lead cut to eight. Thompson finishes with 17. Later, off the miss now. Tar Heels on the break. Looking like Kentucky. Johnson just throw it up and he'll go get it. Throwing it down again. Let's take another look. Bryce Johnson goes for 18 points for the Tar Heels today. Marcus Page had a nice day on the court too. 16 for Page. Gets fouled on the three ball. He would complete the four point play. And UNC is up 43 to 27. Second half. Sam Thompson, this guy's a blast to watch. 
Buckeyes still trail by 13, and North Carolina goes on to win it 82-47. The Tar Heels have won six in a row against the Buckeyes and lead the series 11-2. Tons more on the Appalachian Wireless Sports Overtime Saturday night tonight. Matt, Lauren, and Josh, they're out shooting high school uh, basketball right now. Of course, we'll have much more from the Kentucky game today as the Cats move to 12-0, and of course, they'll stay number one uh, and play Louisville next weekend. Probably two undefeated. So Louisville still got a game against CS. Northridge uh, coming up on December 23rd, but probably a 12-0 versus 11-0. Should, Should be, be a good one exciting. next Saturday. Thanks, Jamie. We'll wrap things up after this.